Hey, hey, Aquarius. Thank you for tuning in to Higher Source Tarot. I so appreciate all of you that take the time to watch my videos, subscribe, like, share, comment. If you haven't yet, um, please subscribe and hit that bell notification and you'll be notified when I post new videos. So most recently, I posted a 2020 predictive tarot video for every sign. So this is uh, today we're going to be doing Aquarius for January 2020, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. But if you want to know your year ahead forecast, that's also up. And then a couple weeks ago, I posted a um, video about all the cards, all 78 cards, and the Rider Waite deck. So if you're not that familiar with the cards, but you enjoy tarot, I would really encourage you to watch that video and learn more about the cards. So. The, the cards essentially are about the soul's journey. So the fool represents the soul and all of the major arcana cards are the lessons that the soul meets along the way. Um, and so are the minor arcana, but the major are more, the more like life-changing kind of um, lessons. So here we go for Aquarius. Um, if you haven't already, I would really suggest you set your intentions for the year ahead and know that you can have, do, or be anything. Know that you can have, do, or be anything. It's just our own limiting beliefs that keep things from manifesting. So know that anything is possible in the year ahead, and I think it's gonna be a transformative year for a lot of folks, so it could be you. So here we go for Aquarius, January 2020. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. What is going on for Aquarius? All right, so before we do that, I've got an Ask and It Is Given card by Esther and Jerry Hicks. They've written a number of books based on the spiritual teachings of Abraham or Abraham Hicks. Um, very, um, very great resource if you're looking to learn more about how to manifest and how to be a deliberate creator. The Ask and It Is Given book is a um, wonderful book that provides 22 processes in the back of the book for how to align yourself with source energy and to draw towards you the things you want in your life. So, my life is supposed to be fun. Be easy about this. Life is supposed to be fun, you know. It is Abraham's powerful desire that you return to your state of self-appreciation. We want you to feel love for your life, for the people of your world, and most of all, for yourself. There is great love here for you. So know that, that your source loves you. And the only time we really feel uncomfortable is when we see our, our lives in a way that source does not see it. So your current situation is the Eight of Wands and the energy around it is the High Priestess. You've got the Seven of Cups as your kind of your goal, your destiny. The Eight of Pentacles is the more distant past. The Page of Cups is the more recent past. Then you've got the Four of Cups here as upcoming energy. You've got the Six of Cups as you. The Nine of Wands represents people around you. Knight of Pentacles are your underlying emotions. And then the King of Pentacles is the, um, the outcome. Now I've got a clarifier from the bottom of the deck and that's the Sun. I keep getting the sun as clarifier. It's really odd. I mean, how how can you know? How could you really? It's just funny how how frequently the sun is at the bottom of the deck. So um, you know, maybe there's a some kind of a message from spirit there. So you had you have something that came at you really fast, um, or that is currently kind of changing in your life very rapidly. Could be communication could also be communication with your higher self, with the high priestess. That is, the high priestess is the, the card of the psychic. Um, so if you feel like you've had more intuition lately and just seem to know things, guess what? You do. Um, so don't double, you know, second guess that. Know that if you feel that these things keep happening and you knew they were going to happen, well, of course you did. Um, so you've had, like I said, some communication May have been a conversation that you've been waiting on for a while. Um, you've been, you know, you've had a number of different decisions that you've had to make here, and ultimately, 
your hope is that you are being intuitively guided towards prosperity, towards love, towards all the abundance, the infinite abundance. Know that you are. You definitely were putting in the work. I think that you have spent some time, um, you know, there, there's this guy building in his workshop. That's you. I think you've spent the last couple months really focused on your career, on your finances, on building up your life to be ready, to be ready, to be ready, to be ready um, for things to come in. And I do think you had a small offer, a smaller manifestation more recently. It could have been a date or a series of dates with somebody, but it also could have been a deal that came through that you were working on that was profitable. And it's, um, you know, it's definitely uh, an indication that you're on the right track. So be careful not to be too closed off. You're going to have an offer again coming up. But be careful that you keep an open mind. That's the message I'm getting. Stay open-minded to it. And I actually think you could very well have an ex coming back. Um, somebody from the past who wants to reconcile with you. They're feeling a lot of nostalgia towards you and the time that they had with you. And it may have been somebody that you never officially dated, but there was always something between the two of you. Call it kismet, whatever. Um, there's just a uh, chemistry there. And this person is going to show up again, and that may be the Eight of Wands there too, um, with the communication where it's going to come out of nowhere, like a kind of a happenstance meeting somewhere. I just got a hockey game for some reason, if you have hockey in your area. Or it'll be something like that, where you're out in a like a crowded setting, and they just kind of are there showing up. It's not like it was necessarily even intentionally planned. But I do think it was um, intuitively guided and planned um, that you are at, in a place where you're a vibrational match. Now, the, the person has been rather wounded in the past. And again, I don't think it's like something where they are stalking you or, you know, trying to... Um, trying to find you, you know, trying to find where you are. However, I do think they're going to be rather persistent with you um, once they see you again. And because this is like a card of somebody who doesn't give up. Um, they can be, I think, creative but persistent, like I said. And um, they may be a little bit, there might be a little bit of impatience around this, like, Maybe you, you see them and they don't call right away or they call you and you don't call them back or somebody here is going to be persistent but with a, a kind of an impatience if there's any kind of delay, which there very well might be a delay because you've also got the Knight of Pentacles and he's, you know, this is very slow moving energy. So it might be more, maybe I've got that a little bit mixed around that there, maybe it will be you that's more persistent Somebody in this is it's gonna that's where you're gonna have a little bit of an imbalance. Somebody in this is gonna be more persistent, and the other person's gonna be more slower moving. So it doesn't mean it won't work because <clears throat> then you have this knight, he turns into this big robust king. And the king of pentacles is, you know, this is a wonderful energy. This is all about new growth. I mean, look at look at the difference between these two cards in the Knight of Pentacles, where he's just got all that yellow. And the king is like has a robe that is almost a garden in a, of itself with a gigantic pentacle at the cent, center of it. And he's got just a very laid back, calm attitude. And so I do think that's possibly the energy of this person too, where they're very laid back, calm. Um, if it's something else like a transition at work, it will go very seamlessly. It will be very easy transition. Um, so whatever it is, and the outcome will be something that won't take a lot of effort, and that's always a good thing. But ultimately, with this King of Pentacles and the Sun, you're going to be getting your heart's desire with this. Um, the Sun is always about newness, about fulfillment, joy. Um, it's a great card to have, freedom. So you don't have a, I mean, but you don't have a lot of cards here that suggest you, I mean, I feel like you've kind of been going with the flow anyway but you don't have anything that suggests you've been holding yourself back. So I think that momentum, you're going to get off to a great start, Aquarius, in January 2020. 
and you're gonna go right into February with this kind of energy. So very good looking. Take care of yourselves this month. Work out, exercise, meditate, drink plenty of water. You know, eat foods that don't come from a box that are natural and whole. And by February, you are gonna be looking good and feeling good too. So thanks again for tuning in. I love you and I should be back in about a week.